Hello class, welcome to Information and Communications Technology 7. For this lesson number 4, we will be discussing the mouse and keyboard. For the content standard, you need to demonstrate understanding of the basics of mouse and keyboard. And for the performance standard, you need to demonstrate understanding of how to properly use mouse and keyboard. And for the objectives, you need to identify the parts and functions of the mouse and keyboard and exercise mouse and keyboarding skills. Okay, so do you remember these computer parts? Can you recall their function? Very good. This is what we call the computer mouse and the keyboard. Ano ba yung main function ng dalawang port na ito? Which is to communicate with our computer. We cannot operate the computer without using the computer mouse and keyboard. Okay, so do you know how to use a mouse? How about the keyboard? Alam ko, karamihan sa inyo ay familiar na kung paano gamitin ang mouse and keyboard. Ba? Dahil kahit naman nung bata pa tayo, ay na-expose na tayo sa paggamit ng mga device na kagaya nito. Okay? So, let's start with the computer mouse. So, the computer mouse is a small device held by the user to point and click on the computer. That's the main purpose of computer mouse, to point and click on the computer. It can move and select text, icons, files, and folders. For desktop computers, the mouse is placed on a flat surface such as a mouse pad or a desk and is placed in front of your computer. So, lagi silang tandem ni computer ni keyboard. Lagi silang magkatabi. Lagi silang nasa harapan ng monitor. Okay? So, we have different parts of a mouse. I know you are already familiar with this. On the left side, we have the left click. On the right side, we have the right click. And on the bottom part of the mouse, we have what we call the palm press. Diyan natin ipinapatong ating palm para, maka, para ma operate natin ng maayos ang computer mouse. And also, the scroll button that is located in between the left and right click. Next is the keyboard. The keyboard is one of the main ways to communicate with the computer. There are many different types of keyboards, but most are very similar and allow you to accomplish the same basic tasks. Diba? We have the keyboard na walang numpad, mayroong keyboard na flexible, diba? mayroong keyboard na makikita o oh, naka-attach or built-in sa laptop. So, mayroon pang iba't ibang uri ng keyboard. So, we also have different parts of a keyboard. First is this escape key. So this escape key allows you to stop a function or action. For example, if a web page is taking a long time to load, you can ex uh, you can press the escape key to stop loading it. So yun ang purpose ng escape key. Next, we have this function keys. Yung nakikita yung from F1 hanggang F12. So ang tawag dyan ay function keys. So, these are uh, functions key, function keys that are labeled from F1 through F12. So, some programs use these keys as shortcuts for most common tasks. For example, in many programs, F1 opens the help file. Iba kapag napindot nyo na accident yung F1, may lalabas dyan na help file or help na screen. Next is the print screen, scroll lock, and pause or break. So these three keys are are located at the top right corner of your keyboard. So the print screen takes a picture of your screen called a screenshot that you can edit or save using a graphics program. So screen scroll lock used to and uh, scroll lock and pause break are rarely used today. So some keyboards don't have them now. 
We also have the tab key which is used to create indents in word processing programs and also if you are filing out, filling out a form online, you can use the tab key to switch to the next skill. Ipa kahit naman gumamit tayo ng Microsoft Excel, ginamit natin yung tab, malilipat tayo sa susunod na cell. Ito, the alphanumeric keys. So, the main part of the keyboard includes the alphanumeric keys, uh, keys or the letters and numbers and also the space bar. We also have the control, alt, and shift. So the control, the alt or the alternate, and shift keys are designed to work in combination with other keys. Typically, you hold down a control, alt or, alt or shift, and then type another key to perform specific tasks. So for example, in many programs, typing control S will save a file. Diba ito yung mga tinatawag din natin shortcut keys. Diba kapag na-click natin yung control A, na select natin yung kabuuan ng ating document. Diba? Uh, control uh, control C kapag copy and control D kapag paste and control X kapag cut control Z kapag uh, undo and control Y kapag redo so yun lang yung ibang example ng shortcut keys we also have the backspace which erases the characters to the left of the cursor kapag nagkamali tayo ng type so, just press the backspace para ma-edit natin o may tama natin yung type nating words. We also have the enter key which executes command. For example, while on the internet, you can type a website address and then press enter to go to that specific site. So, it is also used to start a new line in word processing program. So, iba kapag nakatapos ka na isang paragraph, gusto mong bumuo ulit, na, bumuo ulit ng another paragraph, type mo lang yung enter key. Diba kapag tayo ay nag-Facebook, halimbawa, na type natin yung email address, yung username, and password, we usually press enter para makapag, um, makapasok tayo doon sa ating uh, Facebook account. We also have this insert and delete. So for the insert, the switch between insert mode which inserts new text without deleting anything so and over type mode which deletes text after the cursor as you type and for the delete naman this erases the characters to the right of the cursor kung si backspace ang dinidelete niya ay yung from the uh, to the left of the cursor ito namang si delete yung to the right And the arrow keys, which is used for many different purposes, including moving the cursor, scrolling a document, and controlling a game. Diba kapag tayo ay naglalaro gamit ng ating computer, we usually use our arrow keys to move the character from one place to the other. And the numeric pad. So the numeric pad or keypad resembles a calculator keypad. So many users find it easier to type numbers using this keypad. So, on some keyboards, this is double as arrow keys. Kaya may mga arrow yung number 2, 4, 6, and 8. Diba? Maginagamit, uh, madalas ginagamit ng mga accountant ang numeric keypad para mag-type ng mga document and mag-type ng mga numbers and specific na formulas. Okay? And meron din, meron din naman mga keyboard na hindi available si keypad or si numeric pad. So, sa laptops, hindi available madalas si numeric keypad. Okay, so let's try to practice using our mouse and keyboard.
So that's all. So before we end our discussion, I will leave you this quotation from John Maida. Uh, the laws of physics, simplicity, design, technology, business, and life, which he said simplicity is about subtracting the obvious and adding the meaning. So that's all for today. See you next week.